In this code demonstration, we're going to take a look at the unique function available in the underscore uh, JS library. In order to uh, make use of this functionality, we actually have to include underscore uh, JS here. We can either download the file and include it in a web project, or we can reference it from a CDN, as we've done here. Now, basically, the unique function basically takes an array and returns back um, a list of unique elements. Um, in a new array. So there's a couple of different ways you can actually invoke this function. We're going to take a look at all three of them. Um, the first one we're going to actually take a look at is actually passing in an array of numbers and then getting back um, uh, the, the various unique values in that array. So if we come down here in our code, we'll actually just do a console.log and then we're going to say underscore dot unique you actually don't have to put the U and the E at the end. You can, but you don't have to. You can just call it unique if you want to call it like that. And you can pass in the numbers array like this. And we're going to save this. And then we'll switch over to our web browser. And we're going to reload our page. And we're going to see that instead of having multiple ones and multiple twos and such, we actually just have an array now of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, what's interesting about this is Obviously, it pulled out all of the unique values, but we can actually pass a second parameter in here to let it know that this is actually a sorted list. And so if we come in here and actually put in the parameter true, this is going to let unique, unique know that we're, we're passing in a sorted list of items. This will make finding duplicates much faster, and it will actually use a, a better algorithm for, for, for completing that process. So now if we come back here and reload this, we see that we get the same, um, the same unique list of numbers. Okay, so that, that shows how we can actually do this with a sorted list and use that optimized algorithm. But let's say we have an unsorted list like transport name. So I've got a little array here with car, bus, airplane, boat, train, bicycle. And then you'll notice at the end of the list, we have bus and car repeated again. Well, we can simply call the unique function on this And this will remove the last two items from the list and just give us a unique list of transport options here. So we'll save that, reload this. And see now we get car, bus, airplane, boat, train, and bicycle, and nothing has been repeated. All right. So that's probably the easiest and most common ways that you'd make use of the unique function within underscore. But there's actually one one additional way in which you can make use of this, and it's actually really cool. So come down here, we have a list of transports, and of course each one of these is a different object. So if we were to um, to actually call unique on this, um, it would do a, a reference comparison for each object, and of course each object would be unique regardless of the values that are actually in it because their references and memory would be would be unique. But let's say we wanted to, in this case, actually pull out just the um, uh, uh, pull out a list of objects with a, a unique type. So, for example, I have an airplane here with with a type of air, so it's a form of air travel. But then I have car, bus, and bicycle, all of which would be examples of road travel. So, let's say I just wanted to pull out one of those. I only wanted one road travel option. I didn't want to pull out multiple. The question would be, how would I set up unique? in a way that would actually give me a unique set of transport types as opposed to um, uh, doing like a unique set of objects. And the way we can do this is actually by passing in what's known as an iterative function. And it will be a function that it will use as it iterates over the list where we can have some type of custom logic to determine what the unique value is. Um, so let's take a look at how we can do that here. So we're going to come in here and we'll do a uh, console.log to output our final list. And we're going to type underscore dot unique. Now we're going to pass into this thing the same, um, we're going to pass into this the, the list of transports as the first parameter. And now for the second parameter, we showed earlier that we could use true if it was a sorted list. But for doing a custom function, we actually pass in the custom function as the second parameter. 
So here's our custom function. Now, this callback function that we're going to pass in will actually be passed three different parameters each time it's called. The first parameter is going to be the item of the array that we're currently on in the iteration. The second one is going to be the index of that item. So we'll say item index. And the third parameter is actually going to be the actual list of items, in this case, the list of transports. So now we actually have to write ourselves a custom function that will actually do a comparison between the items so that we can determine what's unique and what's not. OK, so the first thing we're going to want to do is say if item index is equal to 0, simply return. Obviously, the, the first item in the list is always going to be unique. And if we don't put this line in here, we'll see a situation where we're actually going to get the, um, uh, the first two objects that are the same type will actually be listed in the array, and we don't want that. So we always want to make sure that on item index 0, we just simply return um, undefined, basically, and then continue on with our processing. So now I'm going to add a little for loop in here. Say for var x equal to 0, x less than item index x plus plus. So when we're doing our comparison and we want to see if something already exists in the array, we actually only need to check up to the current index that we're on. We don't need to check everything in the array. We just start at the beginning. And if we see that it's already in the array, then we won't include it. If it's not in the array, then we know that we need to add it. So in this case, we're going to go from the beginning of the array up to our current item index. And now we've got to check to see if that type already exists in the array. So we're going to do if item.type equal to item x.type like this, then we're going to simply return. So what we're saying is, if in the array we already find something of this particular type, let's just return nothing, because we don't need to add it again. And then finally, at the end here, if it's not found um, in the array already, then we simply want to return the item. Now at this point, we can actually run this code. And what we're going to find is that we're going to pull out a unique list of transport options based upon type. All right. So we'll save that, and we'll come back to our web browser, and we'll reload. Up, oh, cannot read property type. Let's see here. Let's go back to our thing here. Line 39, item. Oh, it's items, not, uh, not singular. So items. Jump back to our code here, reload. And now we're going to see we get four objects. So our first object here is airplane air, so air is unique. Then we have car, road, road is unique. Then we have water, that's unique. And then finally we have rail. So now what we can do is we can actually pass this to another function called map. And for map, we can pass a function into it, and it accepts a parameter called item. And then simply we'll just return item.type. And we can save that. We'll go back to our web browser. And now, oh, missing one more uh, close parens. Go back to our web browser and reload. And now we've pulled out a unique list of transport types from our uh, array of transport objects. So as you can see, the unique function is actually quite capable. We can use it on simple arrays to get unique values. On sorted arrays, we can use a special parameter to have it execute even faster. And then finally, for more complex array structures, we can create a custom function which will do the uh, unique comparison, unique checking for us.